Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, like and leave a comment with any questions you have. So this video is about a new development in St. Mary on the north coast of Jamaica. Um, it's Edge Hill Homes, the gates of Edge Hill. Um, and this is, I think, kind of a unique development. And I'll show you why. There's some pictures here scrolling. You can see it's a really beautiful community. The prices are starting just under 230,000 US. So if we scroll down, like I said, it's located minutes from Ocho Rios and Bosco Bell on the north coast. And these are three bedroom homes. There's a video here, guys, if you want to check that out. I will put a link to this website in the description so you can check out the information from, for yourself. So the location, seven minutes to a beach, 15 minutes to Ochi, and 90 minutes to Kingston. So that's great to know if uh, you're flying in, you can go to Kingston and be to the house in about an hour and a half. They have a two-story clubhouse with a gym, a cabana bar, an infinity pool, multi-purpose ports, um, outdoor grill, jogging trails, and more. So this is going to be a really nice community. Here are the two models. They have a three-bedroom called the Diana, which is 1,600 square feet, which is a good size for three bedrooms. And then the Elizabeth is 1,900 square feet. So a little larger on that one. So if we check out the Diana, really nice. I love that they have this covered carport so you can park your car. You know, the sun is really strong there in Jamaica. So it's great to have a place to park your car uh, just to protect it from the elements. So this floor plan is three bedroom, two bath, 1600 square feet. They have the floor plan here. So you have your porch, the carport. When you go in, you have your living room, dining, and kitchen all open. And then you also have a back patio, which is really cool. To the left, you have a bedroom in the front, bedroom in the back, and then a bathroom for those two rooms to share here in the middle. And they put a linen closet here, which is great. As a woman, I always look for the closets and the storage space um, to store everything. So it's really nice that they added this linen closet there. One other thing I wanted to point out, they have storage here off the garage, or not the garage, but the carport. So that's really nice. You can store maybe lawn chairs or a lawn mower or whatever you need, you can put there. And then behind that is the master bedroom, good size master bedroom with a walk-in closet and a master bathroom. And I thought this was cool here too. They have a door to the patio from the master. So you can actually go to the patio directly from the bedroom. And then your laundry is right off the back patio, which is kind of nice because especially if you're running a dryer in the laundry room, it can get kind of hot. I know in our house, in Drax Hall whenever we run the dryer. Um, it's kind of right off the kitchen and a lot of the heat comes back into the house. So it's nice to have this a little detached um, and you could even leave this door open here if you run the dryer to kind of get rid of some of that heat and let it just go outside. So this is really a great floor plan, three bedrooms, two bath. Um, I love that it's open um, from the front to the back. That's really nice. So there's a lot of information on this website, guys. I love this website because they, they just really put all the information out here. So you have a brochure, um, the offer to purchase, the price list for everything. So the more, even a mortgage calculator. So just a lot of information here that you can check out. So now we're gonna look at the Elizabeth, which is the larger three bedroom model. So these just look really nice. I like the look of these houses. So this is very interesting. They have a basement option and an enclosed patio option. So we'll look at that in just a minute because that's pretty exciting. You don't really see many basements in Jamaica. So this is a three bedroom, two bath, also 1900 square feet. 
So you have the same carport with storage. Um, as you see here, there is a door from the carport directly into this area here. So that is something that was not on the previous house. So that's kind of an upgrade for this model. Then if you come in from the front, you have your porch, dining, or excuse me, living, dining, and then kitchen in the back. And this is very open. Again, I really love the open feel. Um, it's very similar to the other model where there's two bedrooms on the side sharing a bathroom, the hall bathroom, and you have your linen closet. On the other side, you have a master bedroom, walk-in closet, and bathroom. Now you'll notice this bathroom has the double sinks, which is really nice. The other model has just a single sink and the master. So that's something to consider if that's something that's really important to you. So again, the master um, opens to the patio, which is great. This patio is really large. Um, and then you have the laundry room here. One thing I really love about this model is that it has a den slash study area in the back. So this is really cool. This gets me excited because, I mean, if I had this house, I would put my office there. The kids would probably try to steal it or my husband for his man cave. But yeah, we all have our preferences, right? So this room is really great. Very versatile. You could use it for a playroom for your kids. You could use it for an extra den um, to have a TV. You could have your office. Very versatile and um, just a great extra space to have. Um, if you have a lot of family, you could even put a sofa bed in there um, that can open up and you could essentially have another bedroom um, for guests. So that's just something to consider. I really like this floor plan, really nice. So they have all the information here on this one as well. So I want to explore this up here, the enclosed patio option. So this would just be enclosed here. So it would be like an extension of the house, like maybe a sunroom, I'm guessing, um, type setup. And then you would have a door to the backyard. So very, very nice. So that would just extend your living area. You would then have the living area here, your extra space here, your flexible space here, depending on what you decide to do with it, and then an enclosed patio. So it would really increase um, the living space of this house. And then what I'm really excited about is this basement option. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is the basement. So if you take a look here, it's like a whole nother kind of mini apartment. You have your bathroom here, bedroom, open bedroom. Um, this could be like a living area, I guess, like an open space. You have laundry here, which is awesome. And then like a sitting room. So you could really, it looks very open. You could configure it however you would like. Um, I mean, personally, I might put the bedroom over here for a little more privacy and have this as like maybe a game room or you know, men like a lion's den or a man cave, whatever you want to call it. Um, so very versatile. I think this is really exciting. I, I have to say this is the first development I've seen that has an option for a basement. Um, so it just gives you more space. Um, when I look at something like this, I think, oh, this would be great when we have company over. Or this is something that you could fix up. You could put a kitchen down there and rent it out as a one bedroom, one bath apartment, um, either on Airbnb or long term. So this has great income potential, guys. So um, yeah, this is really exciting. I love that they have a basement, it's awesome. So the neighborhood, this just gives you an idea of where it is located. So like I said, it's on the North Coast. Um, here's Bosco Bell here. Here's Edge Hill, the community. And then over here is Ochi. So it gives you an idea of where it's situated on the North Coast. And it is in St. Mary. Um, but I'll tell you guys, anything on the North Coast is going quick. I mean, if you can get something, get it. Features and finishes, as you can see, this kind of gives you an idea of what the place will look like. They have a breakdown of the exterior. 
um, kitchen, baths, everything. So if you're interested in these homes, make sure you check out this features and finishes tab. It really gives you a good idea um, of what will be included. So additional features, cathedral ceilings, two car parking. Um, this is a good point here, guys. It's pre-piped for AC in each bedroom. That's really good. So this shows the common amenities. So you have an inf infinity pool um, with views of the Caribbean Sea, which is a huge selling point. Um, a barbecue grill, cabana, the party kitchen for entertaining, and the gym. Um, and also, it's very important to note, it's a 24-hour secured um, community with a gated entry. So that's really good. Um, for security, great for renting out on Airbnb. That's always a really good feature. Now, another great feature of this community is what they call the Paradise Club. Now, this is where you get membership into this Paradise Club, they're calling it. And there's a bunch of rewards to this program. So you're part of a beach club, golf club. Um, they have an errand and delivery service, which I personally would love because, <laughs> uh, fun fact about me, I hate grocery shopping. So if I can st get stuff delivered to my house, um, that's awesome. So, uh, they also have airport shuttle services and adventure and tour discounts and also spas. So... This is great if you're going to be living in the house, if you're going to be renting it out, if you have family that's going to be staying there. This is a really big selling point, guys, and this is something that a lot of the other, like, I've never seen all this for another community. So this is why I wanted to highlight this, because it's on the north coast, it has sea views, the homes are beautiful, you have options um, for the basement, the covered, the enclosed patio, and then you have all this. I mean, it's, it's really nice. Um, I think it's a great, great investment. It's a little higher priced than some of the other homes, but it's, um, I think it's well worth it. It's an investment, right? So 230,000 US isn't that bad. Um, I don't think for this, this kind of community. So if you are interested, make sure, um, to check out the website. There's more information here about the developer. Um, you can reach out to Nicola James uh, to buy or set up a mortgage. Um, she works with all the financial institutions in Jamaica, so I'll put her information in the comments. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I think this is a great community, really exciting. I hope more developers follow suit and offer these type of amenities and options because a lot of times in new developments, um, the homes are all the same, cookie cutter, um, you can't do any kind of changes. For example, when we were uh, buying our house in Drex Hall, we asked if we could change the cabinets in the kitchen to accommodate putting in a dishwasher, and they said no, they don't make any changes if you want to do any renovations, and of course you do that um, once you take possession of the home. So it's really great to see some flexibility from this developer and all these wonderful amenities. So let me know what you guys think, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.